There is no doubt that the Denver Broncos need help at their corner position, despite being as banged up as they are. While they will get two of their players back and healthy next year, and that'll be a big boost, they still need a true number one corner. Caleb Farley of Virginia Tech opted out of the season this year, but he has all the traits you want in a top corner prospect. He is extremely athletic and fluid with a great click and close, which makes him such a good fit for Fangio's scheme. However, there is a concern about his medical history, having dealt with some big injuries during his career. Additionally, there are going to be some questions about what shape he is in after opting out this season. Vic Fangio wants to get players who fit his scheme, and Farley is the best talent that fits his scheme. He is the ideal prototype for that off-zone coverage Fangio runs, but it means Fangio taking his first ever corner in round one. The next corner is more of a projection as he's played a lot of press man at Georgia, but Eric Stokes is a good option. He is a boundary only corner, but he has traits that can see him perform in multiple coverage schemes. He has good awareness, athleticism, and click and close to work off zone, but he can be very physical in press. There is concern about his lack of ball skills and multiple dropped interceptions as well as being a jack of all trades type. Stokes has a really good game, but projecting him to Fangio's scheme does muddy up the evaluation some. It'd be a slight risk with his body of work being a lot of man coverage, and it might push Denver away round one. Clemson has a raw corner in Darion Kendrick, but he has huge upside if he can have all the pieces put together. He is a former receiver and knows what the receiver's plan is, which has really benefited him at Clemson. The technical aspects are still, obviously and understandably, raw, but they did start to come together this season. To reach his ceiling, he needs the right coaching staff, and Fangio and his defensive staff could be just that. Fangio is well known for what he gets out of his corners and how he is even able to turn veterans' careers around. Kendrick has all the traits, he fits his scheme, and he can be that top dog at corner with a couple of years of growth. The final two corners are actually college teammates at South Carolina in Israel Mukwamu and JC Horn. They both have really good size and length, but their scheme fit really depends on what Fangio does going forward. This year, Fangio started running more off-man coverage to cover for injuries on the defensive unit. If they stick with that going forward, Horn is the better fit, but if they go back to more off-zone, Mukwamu is the better fit. In the case of Horn, he seems like a really solid athlete, not a great one, and he has some tightness in his hips that aren't ideal for zone coverage. He does well reading and mirroring receivers despite some sloppy footwork, but that can be coached out. Mukwamu has elite length and he knows how to use it to restrict passing windows for quarterbacks. There is good range and he has good awareness and good reads on the quarterback and also the click and close needed for Fangio's off zone. Both of them can make sense for the Broncos, depending on what Fangio decides to do with his coverage unit going forward. Horn is looking like a first round pick, while Mukwamu is probably more of a late second or third round pick. Denver needs help at corner, and these five players are not the only options on the table come draft time. Whatever the Broncos do at corner, it is obvious they need help as they are depleted and getting badly exposed. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Eric Trickle.